Hi all. Good afternoon. Hope you're okay. Hope you are free of virus. Or if not, I wish you the best. I wish you well. Just how are you doing? Um, yeah, just come and say hi. We're here for... Um, we're here for... What are we here for? We're here for a few hours. For the Train Sim World Sunday afternoon stream. Um... I've just got to do the link for Facebook, so bear with me. Um, yeah, I hope you are okay, everyone. Just look it up, look after yourself. Um, be careful, be kind. Don't be assholes. Don't be douchebags. Um, yeah, look after one another. Um, yeah, but more importantly, stay safe. You know, there are there are people that turn around and say, "Oh, it's more people die from flu um, a year." But you know, this is it's not flu, is it? Um, right. So we're live this afternoon for a few hours. Um, today's theme is going to be kind of slightly different. It's going to be like a U a split US come German theme. Why? Because this week we see the release of the Caltrain um, MP15 DC switcher, which will be used on the Peninsula Corridor route. Um, so we're going to do possibly one or two thingies on the um, Peninsula Corridor, but we're also going to do a um, couple of German ones as well because. Um, Um, I'm also looking at, well, they're also releasing the Haps, the Hapstreck rhine ruhr Duisburg bockham route. But that's not being released until January, the f um, January, um, March the 24th, which is a week this Tuesday, I believe. Um, which I won't be picking it up until the following day. Because I don't get paid till the Friday, so up to Wednesday. So I shall be doing a live stream on Wednesday the 24th. So I do have a video out on that day, don't I? No, I'll be picking it up on the 25th. I do have a video out. This is the second episode of the NEC. I will put that out for Friday, for Thursday. I shall change that to the following Thursday. Um, because I can only afford one DLC this month. Hi, Alex. Oi, oi. How you doing, boy? I'm not too bad. A bit tired, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's Sunday afternoon. It's how we go, how we roll. Oh, it's lovely. No Formula One. Ooh. You can understand why, though. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, we're going to do Peninsula Corridor first, if I can find it. There it is. Uh, I'm going to do a cat service, not a cat service, just to uh, chill in, doing a bit of remixing. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. You've got to chill now, got to chill. Um, what scenarios haven't I done? Uh, clean and tidy. I don't really want to do that because I kind of cocked that up somewhat. California commuter, dirty dirt driver done. Rocky Road, I don't, yeah, I have done that. Home run, early riser, what's home run? 60 minutes. Extra service put in place to support events at Oracle Park, gallery, oh, this is a gallery car. And we're doing all those. This is a 60 minute service. Um, Bay Area breakdown, which I've done. Cruising the Bay. How long was that? That's a 60 minute one. Uh, okay, let's. I'll leave the scenarios. Um, see what the journeys have to offer. It's a corridor journey. Um, Southbound limited stop service from San Francisco to San Jose. 
I reckon we should do that. I'll let you clean and tidy till later because there's a slight problem with that. Yeah, we're gonna do two six service two six eight. So I've been down town already, doing some more shopping. Upset some people, but apparently I was accused of stockpiling because I had eighteen rolls of Andrex toilet roll in my shopping trolley, which was in a like eighteen roll pack. So and I had three cans of baked beans and three cans of spaghetti bolognese as well. I know, mate. I just. She's probably one that is stockpiling. I mean, the thing is, I'm shopping. I'm shopping for my mum as well. The fact that being is that she, she hasn't been. What are we on? We're on the right side. <laughs> Hashtag panic buyer. <laughs> Always that picnic buyer. Um. Oh, we've got to set this up now, haven't we? Was it going to be set up? Ooh, generator field has to be on. Um. Passenger. <laughs> picnic bar, mate. Baked beans. You can always do baked beans at your uh, picnic. Um, got to put my verser in. Verser forward. Take the brakes off. So at 16.58, put my lights on. Hi, Wing Zero, mate. How you doing? Did you see the streams from Dovetail today? Not today, but over the last couple of days. Not the doors. South San Francisco at 17.12. Okay. Hopefully... There's one on Friday with the MP15 DC, MP15 DC switcher, which looks all right. And there's the one on yesterday with the new route, the new German route, which look, does look quite nice. Um, right, let's, let's be on our way. The brakes are off. Now I will get you will hear my doorbell go. Yeah, I hope you're getting better, mate. Oh, this is a good sign. Already over the limit. Um messing in dreams yeah that is I saw that a few years ago it's by um, media is it media molecule the same people that did the uh, sack boy and that Get me lights on. Um, instrument lights are on. Eight miles for our next junction or our next stop. Yeah, so 
when my doorbell rings I'm gonna to have to run but I'll be only a couple of seconds someone's coming to pick something up and basically they couldn't do it they well it's a long story I'm just like can't be arsed with it it's every, everything everyone's doing my everything's doing my head in at the moment I mean if I was to say I wasn't worried about what's currently going on then I'd lie main reason being is about my mum she's 86 she suffers from COPD so if it comes in here she's dead that's it real life simple that's it she's dead she's grounded she can't go out um, and me because I've got type 2 diabetes then I'm also yeah she's got a saying she has not been outside this door since uh, second week in December yep so she's she's grounded I was going to sort of try and take her outside the old um, in the backyard yesterday but it was got really windy it's cold and she might as well go out there she'll die of pneumonia anyway yep can't do anything with it really so if I was to say that I wasn't worried I'd be a lying bastard yeah Alex I, I understand mate so yeah and I've also got to keep myself healthy as well it doesn't help when you get people getting on a bus just before they get on the bus they actually wipe their nose in their hands and then basically when they get on the bus their hand goes on the on the post where the little stop button is to tell the driver that you intend to stop yeah I just find that absolutely disgusting So anyway, so getting on with the theme of today's today's thing, it's like the American German. So the new DLC, which is the Caltrain Switcher, which I'll be doing a live stream on Thursday, is released on Thursday. Um, it's price. It should be priced about eleven pound forty nine. which is the normal price hopefully it'll be a little bit cheaper but yeah we'll just have to wait and see oh blimey where did he come from yeah kind of hopefully it won't um, for that you get you get the switcher well you get two switches basically the place out the Caltrain has two switches which they use for um, some maintenance away work and work around the seam off depot well we've, we've got toilet right at the moment we're enough we're okay Plus, I'm going shopping again on Wednesday. I've got to, I've got to keep getting stuff. I have to. And when it, it does happen that she gets it or I get it, then basically I have to isolate. And that's going to be so tough. There's plenty of newspaper I can get from the um, from the shop wipe my ass in the sun not the physical yellow thing in the sky I'm talking about the rag paper the full of shit anyway shower head yeah problem is it goes everywhere though <laughs> right anyway yeah so um there's 15 services in total that is provided. Um, 
And those services are also come up as uh, some as the um, um, some of the scenarios. But out of those 15 services, 11 are for the MP15 switcher itself. And then you've got four for the F40 cat and the cab car. So it's not a lot, but apparently you do see you get a... F I think they've tweaked the, um, the, the thingy mode on here again as well. Bye, boss. Freight train on the way down. I'm not sure whatever what else works on this route. What freight wise? I think they got the wagons. They have the wagons, and they've also the the hopper wagons, and they've also got the centre beam wagons. Um, why did I just suddenly think I wanted to shoot that um, fire extinguisher and let it explode? I've been playing too much Call of Duty, man. Um, There's no extra services for the baby bullet, so it's just uh, four extra services for the couch, um, the F40 cat, and the cab car, and 11 services for the MP15 DC. And that will come out on all three, the two consoles and the PC as well. So that's that's not bad. It's not bad. I won't. I better stop. I think I've got a better start slowing down but I'm alright for the time being so I hope you all had a good week oh catch it bin it Oh my god. Cheers, Alex. So I'm going to the other routes as well that I'm going to be doing the Rhine Roar Austin. The, me, uh, the the main spec art barn Well, hopefully. Yeah, bit of GP8 action. How many there? Three? 
three there and one on the other one. No, well, no, because if you have your cake, it has to be sh less sugar on it anyway, mate. Afraid you missed that one, mate. can't fly. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I've got to get these lights working as well. in a bit. <laughs> Hell will probably freeze over before you get that, Alex. I'm not sure if they're still doing DHL, you know, those sort of parcel sort of flights in and out of destinations and that. I know, it's, it's, the way things are going down, a lot of our foreign orders are going to be stopping. I mean, it's like the, the government are saying that, um, you know, they want to they put all the elderly make them self self-isolate which is fine all well and good but 
what about the people that look after them you know seeing this sh you know I look after her, I look after my mum you know if I'm not working but at the end of the day I can't stay home yeah No, I need I need to work, pay my bills, keep the roof over my head. alive in eight weeks we should be grateful to be honest No, he doesn't. He didn't say a lot. Doesn't say a lot. I'll tell you what, you might say something if I open this window. of a cab car. Just over five and a half miles to um, 
thingy. Hilldale? Hillsdale, sorry. not a bad route but I mean it would be nice to see double stacks along the route I don't think they do run but there's not much freight that runs along here probably oh, was I supposed to stop it? no it wasn't. Roll up a bit. stations we've got to do. Yeah, this is part of the route. There's a lot of level crossings. Hi, right, Brian. Yeah, I know, but I think that there's a slight bug in here that after a while the horn won't work and the we'll just keep doing my head in <laughs> how you doing A little bit busy with commuter traffic. Now nah, these ones break as well. I broke them the other day. It's good that we've got uh, um, two lots of DLC coming out. At, well, I should say literally a month at the moment, but I think it's a lot of what they turned around and said on in the live stream. It's just that the work is... Um, 
they've both the work's both been finished at the same time so oh, I'm gonna overshoot I think I got there late, 26, didn't I? Oh no, I'm early. Bloody hell. Yeah, I, I, it was this one uh, a couple of weeks ago that I used. Um, this is two six eight. It sounds nice. I quite like it. Of course, they use that same loco on, as far as I'm aware it is, they use that same loco on the um, Canadian route. Go, go, is it go via? Got my, got my paperwork here with the loco. Get off. Get off. There you go. Um, yeah, the, the, the delivery that I've got here of the MP3, yeah, MP36PH3C, it's in actually Go Livery, what they use in um, Canada. And that's what they run on the Hamilton to Oakville sub. Well, runs through that on the route in real life. MARC. What, what MARC? What route's that? Roll on the fire. Ah, yeah, okay. It would be nice if they actually bring that to the uh, to the Oakville subdivision route. I mean, they'd be stupid not to, really. Is it with the North East Corridor as well? Oh, okay. I love it. I, I, it's, it's it's really nice. So we got uh, 
baby bullet set in. Oh, I love that little noise there, that's quite cool. So I'm looking at this now on a 40, uh, 49 inch monitor, which is awesome. Hasten to add a 49 3D inch OLED monitor. The PS4. And it does play awesome in 3D as well. Yes. Is that, that's, is that the, are they the Dash 9s or? They're the, the really big ones, aren't they? I mean, they've got them in the CSX um, PC only route, haven't they? The CSX. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, this is not good. You might stop in time. That's it. Heavy haul. <laughs> I think I'll just put the commuters' coffees in the wall. Thanks, right, right. Oh, Ray up away. Is that Rail Accident Investigation Bureau away? Thanks for the follow. Seventeen thirty-three. Did I get there in time? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so where are we off to? Um, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, I got. Oh, we got. A f I thought this was limited stops. Eighteen twenty-one. Blimey. Okay. Seventeen thirty-four. Thirty. Wait, we need a minute. So what have we got running up there? Was uh, so we're heading down that way. I do like looking to see what's about. We've got some wagons and a loco in the sidings there. There'll be those there will be um centre beams. There's a small one there. Oh, you've got another one there coming as well, so oh, we've got a little bit of traffic. I think one of those we will be bypassing at a yard, at a, at a dep uh, station. Shove it in notch eight and let's go. Because apparently that's what they did, wasn't it? They, they actually they had to actually ask them to do it notch by notch so they could get the proper sound recording. So what they normally do in real life, they just actually shove it, jam it right up the warp speed 8, the warp factor 8, and just go from there. Just rev the tits out of it. Hopefully I do get a gold medal on this, but 
Oh well, hopefully. I'm not using with this this with the alert system on either, so So yeah, if you uh oh, this is the wagons that I saw coming up with the loco. I think we missed the other ones, didn't we? And there should be some uh centre beams over here. There they are. Yeah, so um if you like what you see then you can subscribe to the channel um, the channel is youtube.com hentis d6569 but if you type hentis rail into youtube you'll come up with my channel um, the facebook page is hentis rail i'm known as hentis on the playstation network so yeah friend me follow me and um, like me just sounds wrong Okay, Alex, you take it easy, mate. Yeah, I'll be on for a little while. If not, you can message me or I'll message you later. I don't think I'd like to do an all-stop along this route. That will take about two hours or something like that. I mean, it's, this is one of the longest routes, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cheers, mate. I think they said it's about 47 miles. Ooh. Here I am busy talking. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, oh dear. Oh, I've just lost my gold medal. Oh, they're not happy. They've got to walk down here. <laughs> what are you going to be streaming on it? What routes? I mean, today it's a bit of an American German theme because of the upcoming DLC, which obviously we got the MP15 DC switcher coming on thursday and the german route a week this tuesday as well so so yeah mm, okay non-stop up that could have been me if i hadn't paid attention Ah, right, okay. Have you got all the DLC, or what DLC have you got? Or what routes have you got? I mean, I've, currently I've got all the DLC as it stands. With the routes and the locos.
So with all the routes that come out, I will be doing Walking the Roots episodes with them. So currently in season two of Walking the Route, which we are on the Northeast Corridor. Oh, that's okay, that's fair enough. So have you got the NEC route as well? Hi Gary, how you doing? All right. I do like the NEC route, but again, they've, they've got to do something different than the um, GP38. So they've got, you know, like the AC uh, 44, whatever it is you said about. They've got to do that. They have to. So you've got a baby bullet train in the middle up there. I know the GP38 is a ubiquitous loco throughout America, but there are other locos. Good to hear, Gary. Good to hear. <laughs> um, I, I must admit, I do like the German routes. I wasn't... When I first bought um, Russ Ignored... Hi Zoo, how are you? I'm not too bad, mate. I'm I'm still here, still here. Um, when I bought Ruhr Signord, I was just like, it took me ages to, to to like it. And then I bought the main spec up barn, and out the box, as soon as it got on there, I was I was loving it. I was loving it. Um, and then with the Ryan Ruhr Austin, um, I like that as well. And then obviously we had. Um, the new one coming out, which is the Hapstreck Rhine Ruhr Duisburg to Bochum route. It all but fine. Oh god, just a cold, not not the famous virus that's going around. Ah, just a cold. That's cool. It's good to hear. Get well soon. I mean, you got to be careful now, you know. It's ridiculous. It's a global killer. Some are very blasé about it, saying, well, it's just more people... Uh, more people are... Um, die of flu, but... You know. Look at how it's travelled around the world. Yeah, the scenery is good. I do like the scenery. I'm very good on German routes. Some of it on some of the stations, I think, in... The Ruhr Signord, or is it... There's probably the Ruhr Signord and Rhine Ruhr Austin. It kind of reminds me of, like, East Germany, like, the Cold War sort of thing. Some of the stations and that, they haven't changed. And I'm not doing the country or doing the station or the railway system a disservice there. It just, it just kind of, it looks like that. From you know, you see a lot of these, these thriller, these thrillers, set in the Cold War of the 70s and 80s and that. You know.
Really? Oh, wow. Oh, I better start slowing down, haven't I? So what else do you get running on this route then? Because obviously we got the we got the MP15 DC switches arriving on uh, Wednesday, Thursday. So you'd you'd obviously see them running up and down. Blimey. Yeah, apparently they said in the live stream on Friday that um, one of them isn't working or hasn't worked for a while. Great Eastern Main Line. Whereabouts would that run through? It's from Liverpool Street, isn't it, Great Eastern? Yeah, I do quite like that loco. <laughs> it does sound quite nice. It's um, Wabtec, isn't it? Motive power. Liverpool streets and orange, yeah. Done a few Liverpool streets to um, Colchester behind 86s. Um, did some runs to Pitsy, um, Shrewsbury Ness. Yeah, that would be nice to see, but whether they do that, whether t uh, Dovetail do that or not, I don't know. Ah, you live in South End, right? Okay. I love it. The amount of motorhomes running around here. Sorry, RVs. Oh, this is not going to be good.
Are we going to do it? Get out. No. Too bad. Yeah, I have heard of that. Not seen one though. Sorry guys, blue screen coming up. Yeah, I, I, I think they've said they prefer like more do new routes, but I mean a lot of people are asking for the Great Western Main Line extension. Maybe they will do that. A lot of people have asked for that with the 800, 387, 345, with keeping the HSTs and 166s on there. <laughs> I aim to please you. I aim to please. So the next route we're going to be doing is the main spec up barn. Um, there's something I want to try and I've not tried it. Um, which is I want to be a banker loco. I think they're doing I asked about um, the dockside being an expansion in on the main spec up bar spec up spec up barn they might be doing that it could be something they're looking at Because I think if you look at one of my posts I did, I think it was the live stream I did a few weeks ago, I actually went to the, um, I went walk walkabouts around the, um, uh, round the dockside at Main Spess Up Barn. It is a nice loco. I prefer it to the F40, to be honest. We're running a minute late already. I'm not bothered. It probably clagged a lot because basically I was going backwards.
This is the Peninsula Corridor route. I just love the sound. I mean, you get no, there's no jointed rail on this route by the sounds of it, apart from when you go over point work. Well, I think the route is about £25, £24. It's a bit expensive, I know. Um, and then you've got this with the extra services, the GP38, which runs on it, with the. Um, Um, the you get a couple of freight wagons, which is the centre beam and the hopper car, which looks rubbish. Um, and obviously you get the F40 and the cab car. And then you can also pick up for uh, the MP15 for about I think it'll be about 11:49 on Thursday or whenever in the next few weeks sort of thing. Initially I didn't like the route at all. I like I like a route with which fast, which it, this is. But I also like it where I'm not stopping all the time. So a freight plenty of freight would do, but there's not a lot of freight on here. Um when I eventually finish I'll show you the freight. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to save it because I've got a lot of action points and I don't want to lose them. So if I do manage to Tony it, I can um, I can then basically uh, restart it again at a later point. yellow so this is a quite little busy area this is quite a bit of time busy time we're in oh right, so, um i'm playing on the ps4 mate i don't have it on pc i have train sim on the pc but i can't stream from the pc If I could stream from the PC and have a PC capable of running Trains in World, then um, yeah, I'd be a happy little bunny. So the other thing comes to me as well is like YouTube. Hopefully I'll be monetized again at some point, but I don't know. Just got to wait and see what the next couple of months are going to end up like. That's near enough on the spot. So we get the full 500 action points on that. So how, many, how much further have we got to go? Let's have a look on the map quickly. 
now so we got to go so that's where we're off to we're off to there so we're not doing too bad actually that's the seamoth depot there probably about another one or two more stops uh one two three more stops Oh, <laughs> are you going the opposite way? Oh, that bell's doing my head in. <laughs> oh, it's been a busy day. Lawrence is my next stop. Ah, right. Hi, guns blazing. How are you? Right, so we got a yellow as well. So I don't understand the signaling, apart from yellow means slow down. But I think the next signal where it says underneath it is green. So it's flashing green, so I think the next signal will be a green one, in theory. Maybe not then. No, we're gonna be about between three and four minutes late, so I'll probably end up getting a silver. Oh, right, okay, cheers. I wonder if this is the one that I've got to stop and the, the 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 train overtakes me behind me. I've got a very funny feeling that's the case. Are the stations modelled more or less okay? Um, well, going into the platform. So I reckon they've they put me in the hole, and they they run the fast one round me. I better not overshoot. Let's have a look. 
because he's got a yellow on the other track. He's got a green there. There he is. Yeah, so it'd be that one there that's going to pass. It's taken a while to get here. So this is one that I did the other day. But I was the train that's going to be passing us. Not the most professional thing to do, mind. It does, that's what, that's what, uh, here we go. It's probably got the same type engine in it, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. I've got the engine details here with me. Yeah. This is one that they did in... Uh, when they played this baby bullet... Or they did the play string for the release of the baby bullet. They did the service that that baby bullet just which went past me on. So he's not yet moved out the section yet. As soon as he does. theory there we go I've got the putting your head out yeah 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 apart from you can't do it in the coaches though That's like a 70 mile an hour. I'll just go usually about half the speed, about 40. Got a couple more sidings here, which probably don't have anything else in it. Coming up to the 50 mile an hour restriction anyway. We'd probably get a red light after this. No, red, it was green, now yellow.
I mean, I do. The cab is great. But it's like when you sit in the little cab car, you've got a single pane of glass to look through. It's like that with the Desiros or, um, or any other of the blooming southern region stock. I mean, it would look better on a PC, but... Should be coming up to a 50 mile an hour restriction now. Oh, we've been past that. Bad view at all, was it? Oh. <coughs> oh dear. Oh. Yes. I mean, you've even got stuff up top. No, then it's not quiet. Couple more sidings. But at least it stopped raining down it. Yeah. Hi, oh, active supervisor. How are you doing? <laughs> Would be nice. So, what are we waiting on? Oh, just entry into the station, I suppose. He's just going in the station. Look. should clear any second and while I'm waiting I'll save it
Ah, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Right, we've got yellow, off we go. When they when they showcased the, the live stream for the baby bullet, they actually showed photos and they literally hooked up one of these locos with sound mics all the way around, back around the engine. Oh, I'm taking the brakes off. Even around the brakes, the bogey trucks, everything. So they get all the sound and everything. And um, yeah, they showed you photographs of everything all being wired up. I know. Wow. I think we pass the old Seamoth. Seamoth? Is it Seamoth or Seamoth? Pass that in a bit. Cow train depot. So you get to make up a ten coach train out of these cat these uh, thingies. So nearly there. Right, so off, as soon as I've done this scenario, I'm going to shoot off down and uh, get, get a drink. I still have uh, that person uh, coming to pick something up, so um, yeah, the doorbell will ring when I'm here. And I'll have to stop and go down. Ah, right, okay. Oh, bloody 10 mile an hour, flipping it.
I don't know if I did it in a live stream um, last week. I did a thingy on the Long Island Railroad. I can't remember if I did do is it in a live stream or not. I'm straight down the middle. That's the one that passed us at Lawrence. So that should that should be over. Wow, what do we get? Did we get a gold? Oh, we got a gold, and we're level one hundred and thirty-two. Level one hundred and thirty-two. Look at that! Wow. Cool. Blimey. Stop accuracy. Milbury track 5, 0.396 yards. That's probably the closest that I actually got. 20.9 yards. 64.5 yards. Yeah, okay. One hour, 25 minutes. Blimey. No, I don't. Um, I have a condition that stops me from doing that. So, yeah. That's really, really annoying. Oh, blimey. Cool, I'm all hot now. Oh. Right. Let's press continue. I can do, hopefully, if I do the journey mode. Yeah, return to free roam. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Sort that. I'm not worried about that. Nah, it's okay. It's a condition I've got to live with, so uh, yeah, just get used to it. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah, that's that DLC is coming on Thursday, so I'll be back on the old Peninsula Corridor on Thursday. Uh, it'll be about possibly eight o'clock for a few hours. Right. Right, so we are going to be doing main special barn. Right, I've just got to go down, get myself a drink and just freshen myself up a bit because oh, I'm a bit hot. <laughs> I'll see you in a second, guys. Bear with me. Actually, I'll tell you what I will do. What I will do. Save you having to... St uh, st 
sit around looking at a, a screen just showing nothing It'll be a couple of minutes so oh. that's a nice picture He says, hopefully. Right, so we're at Schaffenberg. I was having a quick look at this um, the other day, actually. So you've just got a freight leaving as well, by the looks of things. Is that leaving? Yeah, you've got, a f you've got a freight there leaving. There should be another one on its way in a minute. About one every ten minutes, I believe. There's one that's just left there. So there will be some more, don't worry. Right, I'm not going to be that long, but... Right, if I just leave that there, I'll see you in a second, guys. I'll be back.
Okay, guys. I'm back. Have we had anything come in? It's sort of law because I thought. I put something. I put the time in, and there'd be stuff coming in. Oh, look at that! We get a freight coming in. So that will stop, and that will make up. This will come in, and this will make up a service. Um. That will make up a service for um just start seeing that now there you go that'll make up a service for one of the ones that we'll what we'll not watch but we'll um we'll uh, take control of at some point um so right anyway uh watch that one come in there should actually strangely enough there'll be another one coming in just up there so if you check the map again okay maybe not Why are we on the German routes? Well, German route is you got the hub. Oh, why couldn't he turn up a couple of minutes earlier? Right, be with you in two minutes. Bear with me, guys. I do apologise. Two and a half hours. Oh my god. I don't know if that's good or bad. Right. Okay. Right, so why are we here on Main Main Spasart Barn? Well, because a week this Thursday Um we have the HR I HRR route, which is the Habstrek Rhine Ruhr route being released, which is goes from Duisburg to Bochum. That's coming on the 24th. Um, price will be about 24.99, normal price for a route. Um, obviously the release on the 24th. You get two trains included. So if you've got the Rhine Ruhr Austin route, you'll be familiar with the BR422, which is the main loco on the main, like multiple unit on the route. But you've also got, which is a new one for this route, and for trains in world is the BR425. Um, the BR442 is diff sorry, it's different from the Rhine Ruhr Austin route. It's for for some reason I don't know why, but they couldn't get it into the route, so they had to do it differently. I don't know. But there's a lot of services. A lot of services. Because if you also have the main spec up barn, which you should do in theory, because if you have trains in world 2020. You should have the trains in uh, main specific barn as core. So if you do have the this one main specific barn, you get these two locos. 
You get the BR185, the BR146, and the 766DB PBZFA uh, cab car, double stock, I think they call it. You get these three that you can use on the route. But if you also have the BR143, the BR182, and the BR155, you get all those three. So literally, if you've got all the DLC, like what I've got, you get to use all these on the routes. So that takes, currently, the two services with the with the BR425 and the BR442, it's 141 plus 71 services, um, which works out about 200 and something. But further, with all this other stuff, the locos listed on here, the DLC, you get a further, it works out roughly, in total, you get 374 services over a 24 hour period it's not bad it's not bad so um yeah so we're going to do the main stress up bomb um so that's an awful lot the only one you don't get and i'll come out of the main stress up bomb for that is again they've tried doing it and they've apparently they've broken it or something is the one that we got for the rhine Ruhr austin which we're going to do that one on there a little bit later is this one the black MRCE BR1855 they've got problems with that because they can't get it into Rhine Ruhr Austin either or Ruhr ignored so they've got pro I don't know why they it's obviously something they've done they've not looked at it but it's the same as that same as that anyway but again on the Rhine Ruhr Austin I can drive every single loco so yeah, that's cool. Right, righty, 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 righty. So go go back to the main spec up arm. Again, this is this is a route that I loved straight out of the box. Rus ignored, yeah, and then you had the rapid transit which i'm not because you all you get on there is the br182 doppel stock and the br45 the silver one right i want the br182 i'm gonna do it in spring yeah i'm fine right Ah, so it won't do banking duties. Okay. I'm looking for Laufak Lauf to... Right, so I won't be doing that on them. Is that it? There you go. Depart the siding that your locomotive is in and couple the freight train that just arrived ready to push it up the steep gradient eastbound. So I've not done this before. All right, Gary, I'll see you in a bit. So bear with me, because this is what's going to happen. I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this week, providing everything goes well, um, I will be doing a live stream Thursday. There will be a uh, Train Sim World short video on Wednesday. Oh, I'm getting too old.
so look it out. Well, we've got the road. I did see the red light and I thought you're supposed to press a button Tony so I've not done it before so I know what to look out for now that you talk so much you don't realize how throat you dry gets how dry your throat gets even
that's the red light. Contact the signaler. Should tell me to proceed at restricted. back oh third time's a charm apparently i'm not gonna let this beat me i'm gonna do this because i've not done it before and i've not pra you know i've practiced it and thinking right okay I've, I've just not done it so yeah <sighs> get off oh, take that off now just, just, just charging the control but oh, one thing about who i am I'm just not comfortable. Well, I was in the other room. I was sat in my play seat and I was comfortable. <laughs> I could still do it in the other room, but yeah. There we go.
bunch of tanks. And everyone's watching so that I don't muck it up. Let's do it manually then. Okay, so so basically then this is done in three parts. Yeah, I've earned a bronze medal, I'm not surprised. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh dear. Um, right, so carry on and we'll do the next one, which is banking it up. Return to free reign. That's double-headed, that one, if I remember rightly. And we're not. So, um, Why is not why is that not going? The master Tom is on.
get that going then. Put a bit of woolly into it. Well, welly, woolly? Welly into it. No one in there, that's why. We're not even hitting the one... the one percent rate yet. I'll be surprised. miles an hour somewhat. Okay, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to have to look into doing that one. Um, that's annoyed me. So I'll have to look at look at that one. So that's a failure. Damn. Um, hmm. That's annoying. That is annoying. Well, we're going to do a normal freight run. I think I can do a double-headed one. what journeys are demand and law yeah I 
Schaffenberg to Laufack, Laufack, Heigenbrücken, Heigenbrücken, Gemünden, and then Laufack to Heigenbrücken. Fuel exchange is basically, we're actually hauling, hauling it. The train that I've just been trying to push, but every time I do that, it just it just gets to the bank and thump. Um, right. Drive this non-stop freight eastbound from Aschaffenburg to Aschaffenburg to Gemunden. Okay, double stock delivery. Go do some double stocks. I think that's driving it from Gemunden down to Aschaffenburg, I believe. I need to look at something on the Ruhr Signord as well. It's been something I've been meaning to do because every time and then when I've been playing the Ruhr Signord, I've always seen them in the yard. And uh, um, uh, Hagen. And then I see them all going off together, and I'm like, okay, I want to look to see what sort of service that is. So I'm going to hopefully try and do that. Right, so welcome to Gemunden. Two refurbished double stock sets need delivering to Schaffenberg. Head over to the train and get started. So that's our train over there. So we're what? We're one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine, nine wagons long. Oh, no. There is a map here somewhere, which I've done. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's, that's area there, goes down to the, the station, down to the dock, sorry. It's basically our our trains there. Oh, we're at Lauf. We're at Gemunden, aren't we? So um, that's the docks area there. And there's two stations there as well. There's one there, and I think there's one there. So, um, yeah. But there's also, apparently there's a power station here as well, which is there, with run-round sidings. I've not actually been in there yet to look at it, so... So, yeah. Whether they're going to, again, update the route to bring in the, um, you know what I mean, like the uh, like loading and unloading facilities sort of thing. So you take, you're bringing in a heavy coal train, and you coming it, bringing it down through here. There's trains in there at the moment. Right, so we'll go over and get our train then. I think we've got to start this from dead stop. Climb aboard, activate it for five seconds. Okay, sit in the driver's seat. Tell you what, I'm going to do that. sit in the chair okay it's not even doing that is it <sighs> we're not even switched on are we charge the brakes 
absolutely dead, aren't we? Is this another one of those? It's just not going to work. So the brakes ain't even... Oh. We're not having a lot of luck with this, I'm afraid. <sighs> Try again. Sometimes I find it so finicky. Double stock delivery, take two. Yeah, we know. Right, let's just get under here. Welcome to Command and 2 refurbished double six. It sets neat delivery to Schaffenberg. Head over to the train to get started. Climb aboard, activate the uh, thingy for five seconds. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so there we're done. Sit in the driver's seat. Now ah, you see now it's 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 charged, look. Set the master switch to neutral, charge the brakes, which they are charging now, you can hear. Well you can see the EQ Ooh, wrong one. In the corner here. But there. Charge the brakes are charging. Because none of this was on when we got in it in the last time. Um, set the master switch to forward and train brake to full service. Set the train brake position to 1B. Set the pantograph to raise and the MCB to closed. I have a light. Excellent. Set myself up there. And on the back. I love these wagons. We get, we've got something like these over here, haven't we? Um, do the same there. The
they've got to wait for either a train coming in or um, a train departing. Sometimes in these locos you just got to power down, just make sure the brakes are in check and then just basically power up again. I don't know if it's something to do with what they do in real life or if it's just a glitch of the system. So if any of you know that, just drop a note in the comments or in the like feed.
I just want to save these so I'm not messing it up. Oh.
speed count the speed limit countdown instead of the countdown to the red signal. Oh my goodness. I've done this uh, this route, this run. I'm going to do an impromptu walk in the route. Law Bannel. For a simple reason. What I'm saying is, is quickly because I will get back on with the thing. So that's that's the power station now, I believe, or the, around this area here. So what you'll do 
you'll haul a freight train round from here of coal wagons from the docks from the dock side basically take them to a Schaffenberg yard run and rattle they'll be in a Schaffenberg yard you'll come up and you'll haul them wherever we are you'll haul them into here and then run round your, your train and then just basically take them down to the power station but yes we'll have a look at that down there whether we can do that or not I don't know so it's I'm always I'm always one for trying to do something that you're not supposed to I've got into trouble with that right so 19 miles to go then come on let's have it so, if you are a train team world player, are you looking forward to the new route? Duisburg, Buckham, 425 and the 442, not the class 442, Western's big. Drop us a comment. I'll be picking it up when it does get released, um, and I will be doing a live stream on the, the it's released on the Tuesday, I think, 24th. I'll be picking it up on the um, on the Wednesday, and I'll be streaming on the Wednesday. So the walk in the route video scheduled for that Wednesday will be rescheduled for Tuesday. I don't know I might have um oh you can't hear me I thought I might have stuffed the old oh I did or didn't I I've got a mute button on the mic and I thought I might have clicked the mute button over so yeah do apologize as you were Mr Hendis as you were oh I've got to get the um the sound sorted out for when I do stuff like this because these electric locos are quite he quite heavy hi Bradley yeah that's, it, it's, I mean did you watch the live stream on Saturday night because I, I thought it was quite it looked quite good it did remind me a little bit of Rock Ryan Brewer Easton um Remind me a bit of that because you've got two routes that di diverge. Not diverge, but um, go. You know, one goes north and one goes south, sort of thing. I'm just going to gradually break here uh, because, by the looks of it, I'm just going to be running red all the time. Uh, this is the one eight five. Is it the one eight five or one four five? I'm not quite sure. Just um, one more six. Great bit.
Have you ever been next to a Class 92 or an 86? No, I've got the volume at 100 max. So if it's too loud, you can barely hear me, I will adjust the volume. But if you can hear me and it's not too loud, just let me know either way. Crystal 
away, possibly, you know, going on to the um, dinghy. Yeah, I did put it on, and then I put it off, and I left. And that's what the problem was, I forgot to put it on, and then I put it on midway, and it just didn't want to know, so... I will do them again at some point, because it's something that I, it's interesting to do. Um, so I want to get this one done, because I want to shoot off to Gross Ignore and go to Hagen Yard. There's a service that I want to catch. And this is one where I've got to take the... Take the, the uh, what do you call it, off stuff. And then reset the accelerator and then it'll go again. There we go. Yes.
tell you what I will do. I will turn down the sound a bit because it's a little bit annoying. It's a bit loud sat in there. But it does eventually. Um... I'll take the sound down to about 50 the master volume uh, select applies options and then you should be able to hear me a bit better I know there we go you should be able to hear me a fair bit better now it's still loud in my ears. But it's not as loud as you know what I mean. So the idea is that I'm... I just saw the red light there and then the red light up in the top corner. I was like, oh no! The idea is that I'm probably going to go through to about half past six. Well, between six and half past, so um, yeah. Now, if I remember rightly. There's a bug with this. Every train now that you come, you go past, is stopped at a red light. I think it's only on this scenario it's bugged. Because everything else now will see stopped at traffic um, traffic lights. Stopped at red lights all the way now down to Schaffenberg. The annoying thing is I've got the I've got the reflection of my PC monitor on this big monitor here in front of me. They're all stuck on red lights. I think it's to do with this scenario.
So that should be us overtaking him. Five mile hour limit coming up, so we should be locking that out in a minute.
it's happened the same time as I did it last time. So uh, when well, I've been running freight or passenger services down from wherever it was down to Schaffenberg in this direction, nothing's been st stopped. It's all been running. remember what the yard entry is the speed I think it's a little bit lower than 62 miles an hour Seven. The thing is as well that these these scenarios, if you go through like a normal day, um, like say in a, a Schaffenberg. You won't see these come in because they're scenarios. They won't work. I don't think they work in service mode. But something I'll definitely check out for next time.
you're going to do that, are you? Oh. Right. Set the master switch to off. Shiny new doppel stocks. So you can have a little walk around from a well. Right, that's our job done. I don't think I'm going to get a gold medal. If I get a gold medal, I'll be surprised. I'm surprised. All right, I am really surprised. Right, so next we're going to head over to... Where are we heading over to? We are heading over to... Rurse Ignored. But I've just got to pop downstairs, make sure everything's okay. So bear with me. I shall see you in about three minutes. Right then. Right. Birds are singing, it's getting a bit darker. So we've got a gold medal. Wow. Pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Right, so we're going to shoot over to Rur Signals. It's going to be an early morning job. So it won't be as dark. 
I set it up for summer. Nice summer. Uh, Rear signaled. Right, and we're going to. Hi, Dave. How you doing? I'm not doing too bad, mate. Are you? Are you okay? Um, right, going to the timetable. And I've no idea what the loco is going to be. Right, so I'm clear. So it's going to be a 9. I'm going to do it as 9.50 because I'm not sure where I'm going to spawn at Hagen. So bear with me. Right, okay, let's do it as Hagen Freight Yard, so we'll do it as 0955. Right, set the chair. Right. So it's something that I see every day, every time that I, around about that time when I'm doing services or I see things flying off, and I'm like, where's that going? And I don't know what the motive power will be it could be all the same it could be different a couple of different classes all that sort of thing so um yeah right where are we so we're there okay and that's where we're going So I, I don't know what's if this is an AI service where I can take it for a certain amount of time, then I've got to get off it. But all I know is that it departs at 10 o'clock. Oh, please don't tell me it's one. Oh, no. Ah, no, I can drive this. This is fine. I think. Oh my god. Well, let's start her up first, anyway. Have we got a... Uh... Oops. It starts at 10 o'clock, so we've got three minutes. Have we got, um... Pants up. Pant is up. So what have we got? We've got two one four threes, three one four threes, a one eight five, another one eight five, and another one eight five. Yeah, I will. So I will look at that at some point. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six locos. So this will be a 6x something in uh, EWS terms. Um, right. Uh. Was that it? Oh, okay. Right, where's the lights? Cab light off. We're going for the full lights. This is going to be interesting. 
Very interesting. <laughs> Yes, yes, definitely the good cut. The DLC is looking good. I mean, it's going to cost me about thirty-four quid in total, with the route and the air, uh, the, the the loco. But I will be getting them. So, yeah. And the fact being, I'll probably be self-isolating at some point, which I hope I don't. Just got to think positive. It's not easy, but yeah, got to think positive. That's bloody crap. Right then, here we go. Let's hope this starts. So we've got a 16 mile run, so where are we running to? Shall we do it? <laughs> 